not my pajamas. Oh. Woohoo! A giant snapping turtle! Jack. Putting on my pajamas. I don't want my pants all bunched up. Oh. All right. Handsome and ready to go. All right, everybody, welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, today, I'm super excited because we're kicking off the year looking for one of the largest and coolest turtles we have in the state of Texas. Today we're looking for common snapping turtles. Now we found a few at this place before, but there's some really, really big ones I'd love to get my hands on. So let's see if we can find a common snapping turtle and let's see if we can find a massive one. Let's go. Okay, welcome back everybody. We have just walked upon a dinosaur. He has seen me now. I'm gonna get in front of him here. No sir, no sir, no sir. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Turn around, turn around. There you are. Whoop. Whoop. Oh. Rinse that off. Oh. Woohoo! A giant snapping turtle! Let's climb up here, Boop. Slippery little clay bank. Yeah. Take a look at this lovely little creature. Look at him. He's so sweet, isn't he? He's so charming. This is a common snapping turtle. A good size one too. Look at the size of that. Nice good size. Wow, isn't that cool? Now common snapping turtles are one of the largest freshwater turtles in North America really only dwarfed by their larger cousin, the alligator snapping turtle. But you can see where he gets that name snapping turtle as he's snapping backwards towards me. Hey buddy, but look at that sharp beak. Now he's using that to hunt all sorts of things, fish, frogs, other turtles, ducklings, all sorts of stuff. Look at that impressive turtle. Hi, you're so cute. Look at this, is this not a beast of a turtle here? So the underside of a turtle shell is called the glastron, and I'm holding him here so he cannot reach me, but also because it supports his body weight fairly well. A lot of people hold snapping turtles by the base of the tail, uh, but holding them just by the base of their tail can cause vertebrae damage, because uh, they are pretty big and pretty hefty turtles. And as you see, he sits pretty good up on my hand here. What a cool little turtle here. I'm glad to see that this guy's doing so well because we did have a huge freeze in Texas. Uh, we had record temperatures in a lot of counties and uh, a lot of these little creek areas froze completely solid. Uh, so it's really nice to see that these snapping turtles uh, were able to survive such a climactic climate event. Look at that turtle. How cool is this guy? Well, we're gonna get some shots of him and then we will let him go. So thank you for participating, buddy, and being so nice and sweet. What a cool find. Now, despite the reputation, snapping turtles are actually relatively calm turtles. Uh, they really are only in that defensive snapping position uh, when they feel threatened. Now, snapping turtles possess an impressive spiky tail. Take a look at this super cool bodily structure. The main mode of locomotion for a snapping turtle is simply walking along the riverbed. Uh, they do this because they're very heavy, so swimming can take a lot of energy. Oh. 
All right, well, we had a great time filming with this super cool, super huge common snapping turtle. So now we're gonna let it get back to its life right in this little creek system here. So thank you very much, cutie. We really appreciate your hard work. Here we go, snapping turtle release. Look, you can leave. Oh, no. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful turtle. Trying to figure out where she wants to go, but she will live a long and happy life right here. Disappears into the murky water. Cool stuff.